Now, Bruce, a lot of your books are very weird. So I don't know if you had a weird childhood or something like that. Why do you write such weird books? I usually say I, I probably didn't have a chance of coming out normal. My favorite holiday was Halloween. I went to a school where the official school colors were orange and black. My grandfather ran the cemetery, and I was a grave digger by the time I was 17 years old. So being normal wasn't really in the cards for me. Bruce, what was it like being a grave digger? Being a grave digger, uh, well, it's a dirty job, but somebody's <laughs> got to do it. Um, and it's really not as bad as it, as it might seem for a couple of reasons. One, it was good physical outdoors exercise. Uh, two, a lot of your best thinking goes on, I believe, when you're doing something that doesn't require a lot of mental effort, that gets the top part of the brain out of the way and lets the lower part, the more creative part, send you messages. So I used to, when I was working at digging a grave, think of stories, invent stories, sometimes about working in a cemetery, but sometimes just stories. I'd be working there and the top part of the brain was out of the way and story ideas would come bubbling up. The other thing about being a grave digger is that I think it takes away some fear. A lot of our fear of cemeteries and graves and even death comes from the unknown aspect of it. You know, you go to a funeral, you go into the cemetery and there's this mysterious hole in the ground. You don't know for sure how it got there. Um, they put the coffin in. You come back a day or two later, it's been filled up. You don't know how. But when you've actually dug the hole, when you've um, laid down the bottom to look up from, and see what it looks like from the bottom, because how many times do you have a chance? I figured I might as well. Uh, when you filled in the hole, the whole thing becomes much less mysterious and therefore less frightening.